Okay, time for a, a little update. Now, I'll try not to ramble too much here, but I wanted to tell you guys where I was on the project uh, at hand, which is the uh, Muddy's Mighty Mini wind turbine that uh, that I've been working on with Scott Brown. And uh, and if you watched the last video, you'll know that we were going to go ahead and put out a bare bones unit, a unit that um, <clears throat> that one of you guys could go ahead and determine how many magnet poles, what sort of coil windings, all that sort of stuff. You can make your own decisions. You can put your own blades on it and you can put your own tail. Now this this item is a little incomplete and this is the one that I'm actually going to put up myself because over here I have another four of them coming. And as you can see, these are uh, still on the rough. Um, I did already make the shafts for them. Um, I've got the bearings on the side, and um, <clears throat> they are uh, again. This is this is. These are all handmade, so it's going to take a little while. And behind here, you'll see some stators. Those are uh, those are mine. I just want to show you about the size of it. Um, those were sent to me by C. Wayne Hawk, who uh, was very kind to to make and send those to me. And I'll go back over here because this uh, this unit here, as an example, is the one I'm going to keep because. Um, it's a well. It's a little irregular, like a sweater down at the uh, the outlet stores or whatever have you. Um, uh, the, what's different about this one is I've got three sixteen steel plates, and um, and I, I want to use quarter inch for the bare bones unit. When I've got some quarter inch plate behind me there, so I'm going to make new new plates. And there's there's just a few other little things that this is the first one um, that I made, so I. There's micro little little nut errors that are going to be consequential, but I I didn't want to put it out. You'll see there's like little um, uh, marks from the plasma cutter in there, and and that's just ugly. So I didn't want to put that out. So anyway, but that being said, <clears throat> you, you get the gist of it by looking at this. And I'm going to run through a few things here. So um, uh, if you uh, if you guys comment on this, you know, think of this as a little bit open source. The bare bones unit is for guys that are probably like some of you out there who want to make your own and uh, you want to, you want to have some say about it. There's nothing wrong with this, the normal store bought stuff, and uh, where everything's done, you buy it, it shows up in a box, you put the blades on, you throw it up on a tower, and and you're done. This will give you guys some uh, an opportunity to make some choices. And uh, there's a lot of great scientific minds out there, and and that when I'm when I run through this. You know, uh, many of you may know more than me. Go ahead and pipe up and tell me your thoughts and uh, or concerns or anything else like that. Don't don't spare me. Um, just let her rip. So um, I'd, I'd appreciate that. And if you don't know much about it, say hi anyway because I I'd like to know who's uh, who's watching these videos. I I do appreciate it. Um, I've gotten a lot of attention lately on the channel, and I won't go on the soapbox here too long, but. Um, if, if you are watching, go ahead and just l lay out a, a comment, just say hi, hello, I enjoy it, or I don't, or whatever have you, just so that uh, I can see who you are, because if you leave a comment, I'm going to check your channel, and uh, that's that, so just please, please leave a comment. Anyway, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> the, I, the things I still have to, to finish on this unit is the hub, and here you can see, got this over here, that's 2 and 3 a solid steel. Um, I'm going to make a hub from that, and it's going to be uh, bored out 25 millimeter. I'm going to leave a smaller hole in the front to accept that 5 sixteenths um, thread that I've got on that side. I've got one on the back as well, by the way, and um, and this will slide all the way back like that. It will have two set screws that go down and put pressure on that shaft, and then there will be another piece that will put pressure on that bearing. So. Um, and I'll explain all what's in, in between here in a second, but basically it will all be reefed together holding inner races tight and there'll be no end play and virtually no run out. And, and the reason I'm going with heavy metal is, uh, well, besides just looking cool, it, it, it's a lot of mass and, uh, and I wanted to have, uh, be able to, uh, get all the mechanical energy, um, give it some, somewhere to put it. Uh, before it cut in, and then it cuts in and zzz, takes it off. That's the idea on the heavy hub, and and uh, again, <laughs> I think it's going to look kind of cool. So, um, and I have the and I have the uh, the heavy stock there, and that's going to be a fun machining project. So, the hub has to be done. It's going to go on here. It's going to have standoffs. 
uh, what I mean by standoff, and it's not going to be this stuff because this is it's going to be thinner than this. But if you imagine, I'm going to have it um, stand off there, and then I'm going to drill, um, f you know, flatten, maybe weld, or however I'm going to do it. I'm going to have the blade stand off of the hub so the wind can flow through the whole thing, and maybe even get in through here, open up some of the holes so that um, the air can get into the coil, uh, the coils, and all of that. So the hub has to be made and uh, it will have set screws and it will be bolted on the front and it will be solid steel. Um, <clears throat> what else? In the back here you can see uh, hopefully focus is good. Let me take a look. Yeah, good enough. Um, <clears throat> I have these six bolts holding these two plates together. There's a piece of steel here that was that is, uh, that is perfectly true um, and it's sandwiched up against this. This is all press fit. That's a press fit. The, the plates themselves, this plate is a press fit. This one's not because you're going to be taking that one off. When, when uh, th this plate doesn't remove without being pressed off. So that's what that means. And then um, over here I have a set screw in there. Now it's not your standard normal set screw. I've drilled all the way through this. This has been pressed on there. Um, piece something like this and it was a very tight fit, press, hydraulic pressed it all the way on there, drilled through, uh, drilled threads through it, and then put that all the way through into the shaft so that when I pressed all of this together, there's a bearing, a piece like this, and that other bearing, and it all got pressed together, that collar wouldn't move back, right? See that? And now, once that was all put together, I put it back on the lathe with my centers before I threaded those, and I, I pressed, um, I put this plate on and I pressed that on there and so that that is running true. Right? Now I also machine that true on the other side there so that when I put these six bolts on they uh, they pull this, suck this plate right down to there and I've got a gap that's set for the stator that C. Wayne Hawk sent me plus I've got a half inch of magnet on on either side there and it's a, it's a half inch stator, right? It's a thin stator, which I asked him for. And, uh, and that will leave me three 30 seconds uh, gap between the magnet face and the stator on this side and that side. So that's what you're looking at here, right? Okay. And then in the back here, I'm, as I mentioned, these, uh, these are gonna be for jacking points so that once you get the magnets on there, you would never put your finger anywhere in or near there because of the forces are so great. You would, you would, you would jack the plate down onto there onto the other one and there'll, there'll be a, a mechanism for that um, but it, it'll be it'll be overkill so that there's no chance of that coming together because again the forces will be so great so there's that um, another thing to point out to you guys is right here um, you'll see scribe marks that is where I uh, basically loaded this whole thing onto an index <clears throat> I locked it in a station on my on my collet index and every I just I ran it across and so I can mark where my magnet placement is so that my magnets are perfectly lined up with one another and somewhere excuse me somewhere on here I've got that's I don't know if you call it top dead center it's it, that's where it, it's home because all these bolts will, will line up once these are together that's the way um, I know I mean it, it will self align anyway but I want to make sure that the bolts lined up if that all makes sense so I put those scribes on there, and this one's based on 24 positions. And again, on the bare bones unit, you know, someone might not want, you know, um, 12 magnet poles because that's what I'm planning on doing is 12 magnet poles here, right? Uh, um, I've got nine, a nine coil stator. Someone else may want 20 poles, and a, and a 15 coil stator or something else, some other option there. So I'll put the scribes on there, but you may want to just disregard it if you're working with a different uh, division. So anyway. So that's that. Let's see what else there is to discuss here. I'm forgetting what I did discuss. The 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 um, furling mechanism, right? So there's a straight shot. You've got what I've given you here is I've got an angle at 35 degrees and then 20 degrees back, and that's what this is. So that when you put your U-bolt, uh, basically an aluminum shaft, like off of a free weed eater or something like that, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to use. Um, it's going to swing back like this and somewhere with this 
area right here, this would, that's just a piece of half inch or a half inch inside that will go down into here. Somewhere with these holes and that, um, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, a way to limit the range, a way to dampen it on both sides, and then perhaps a hydraulic um, piston or something that just makes it a little more gentle and a little less violent. That's, that's what I'm thinking about this. But when I made it, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go. And, and again, you guys may have ideas um, with, with these mount holes there. Um, there could be uh, little ball joint things because obviously you've got some strange angles happening here. A lot of ideas going around that. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. And with the bare bones unit, I'm going to leave it bare bones so you guys can do what you want. And uh, with any luck, it gets to someone who will make a video and show us what they did. That would be the that would be the best. So, um, all right. Sorry to be boring you on about this, but that's that. Uh, don't know if there's anything else to discuss about this unit at the moment. Just that uh, it will be uh, it will be a couple three weeks before we get the bare bones unit um, on eBay. It's, again, it's going to be a dollar no reserve. Um, it's going to be. You know, the muddy man and myself, we're just going to split it, whatever whatever it ends up as. And uh, hopefully when we do load that up, um, I, I guess I'd humbly ask that everyone that watches this uh, goes ahead and g gives a little promotion for it. Because, I, you know, I, I mean, I, I ask that humbly just because, uh, A, you know, we are selling it. We'd like to buy some magnets and some wire and just continue with this uh, this sort of open source pro um, um project where we're we've got this bare bones axial flux i mean I, I think there's like i said there's a lot of guys out there and girls perhaps that would like a bare bones axial flux and uh and and we think it's uh you know i i'm looking at it here i'm thinking to myself man i can't wait to get this thing in the air so so that's uh that's what we're doing and uh you know if you have any questions ask go ahead and uh please please shoot a comment down if uh if you're still watching this and uh just let me know that you're watching so that I can see who you are, where you are, whatever it is, and uh, and then then fire away with questions or comments on it because uh, because I'd like to hear it. So that's it. Thank you guys very much, and until next time.